NASA just found something that will make you question life on Earth. Astronomers and scientists have consistently been trying to find signs of life on other planets in our universe. This quest serves to find life on other planets, especially in the Milky Way. NASA may have found something that truly provides some fascinating insights into this fundamental question. Stay tuned to find out if the Kepler telescope has found anything worth further investigating. But before we continue, I further would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! Now, the Kepler telescope is a disused telescope, which was first launched in 2009. The purpose of launching the Kepler telescope was to look at exoplanets, planets which are located outside the solar system. Ever since then, the Kepler telescope was able to look at hundreds of thousands of stars in thousands of planets. When the Kepler telescope was launched, it had the largest primary mirror ever integrated into any telescope. The Kepler telescope also had a 96 megapixel camera to process the light collected by the primary mirror. The Kepler telescope was designed to find out if any exoplanets had any conditions conductive to life. While the Kepler telescope was functional, in total, it had observed around more 500,000 stars and had spotted more than 2,500 exoplanets. Most of these exoplanets present circumstances which we do not normally find in our own solar system. These exoplanets are larger as compared to our Earth and all the other planets which revolve around the Sun. Some of the exoplanets display even stranger attributes. For instance, some of them are located so close to their stars that they complete their orbits around the respective stars in a matter of days. There are other exoplanets facing their stars, due to which temperatures are high enough to melt iron. The hemispheres are made up of oceans of molten rock. There are other exoplanets, which are the size of Jupiter, and are revolving around not one, but two stars. This means that one could clearly see a binary sunset from one of these exoplanets. The Kepler telescope was successfully able to locate many Earth-sized planets, some of them located in the Goldilocks zone. Goldilocks zone refers to the distance between a planet and a star, through which temperatures sufficient to maintain water in its liquid form are found. This means that there are potential exoplanets, which are located in the habitable zone. Water in the habitable zone tends to be warm enough to condense on other surfaces, but it's not cold enough to let it freeze. However, we should be cautiously optimistic since keeping the water in the habitable zone is not enough to ensure that life can exist on these planets. Finding life is of vital importance since for us humans, water is the very basis of our vitality. But there are other things which must be accounted for while looking for life on other planets. One such exoplanet which generated a lot of buzz within astronomers and astrophysicists was K218b. This exoplanet was first located by Kepler Telescope in September 2019. Initial findings formulated by two scientific teams showed that there were signs of liquid water in the planet's atmosphere. The planet, K218b, was located at a distance of 124 light years away from Earth. K218b is about eight times the size of Earth and orbits a red dwarf star. A red dwarf star, in contrast to our Sun, is a cooler star which can be found commonly in the Milky Way. Astronomers have estimated from the data relayed by Kepler that almost 6% of planets located in the habitable zone have a red dwarf star. The planet in question, K218b, was first discovered in 2015 by Kepler and has been subjected to detailed study by other telescopes as well, including the Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescope. Kepler has traditionally relied on transit methods for locating exoplanets. The transit method essentially means that we detect a planet when it comes in front of a star. The light that we receive from the star is dimmed to some degree when the planet comes between the lens and the star. And that's how we know that there is an exoplanet. There is more important information to be extracted from this too, such as the level of dimming and the duration of the dimming of light. All of these indicators tell us about the distance of the planet to the star and the size of the star. Although this sounds like a promising method, detecting the transit of an exosolar planet can be extremely challenging. For instance, the Earth is very small as compared to the diameter of the Sun. It is only 109th of the diameter of the Sun. To an external observer, the passage of Earth around the Sun 
would only dim the sun's light by a factor of 0.008%. This means that Kepler's camera's in mirror system has to be sensitive enough to detect these very little differences in the dimming of the respective star. Kepler, in 2014, used the same technique to detect another exoplanet. This planet, Kepler 1806f, stirred the imagination of every space scientist out there. With latest data coming from NASA, it is now thought that the planet, which is 500 light-years away from Earth, can potentially house many climates and seasons. Other facts related to the planet's spin and axial tilt have found that, due to the similarity between the axial tilt of this planet and the Earth, there are chances that K1860F will have regular seasons and a largely stable climate. But all of these startling discoveries were discarded when an algorithmic error was discovered. This means that the data coming from Kepler had to be scrutinized again in line with data extracted from other space telescopes. Some scientists are combining data from Kepler and matching it against the new data found in the Transiting Exoplanet Survey. The results indicate that out of a total of 2,662 exoplanets, only 16 exoplanets are found within the habitable region. What if these planets can support life? And better yet, already support an extraterrestrial life? Should we start thinking about constructing space vessels capable of those interstellar travels? Feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Please give this video a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.